So we reached the end. At the beginning of the year I made 24 incredibly astute and well-reasoned predictions for the season yet to come, and here we are at the season's end having watched most of them crumble to dust. So for completeness and quiet respect for my humiliation, let's take one last look at just how badly I failed, shall we? Take a look back at the other videos to see how we got the bingo board to this state, with the X's marking correct guesses and blanked out squares indicating where I fell short. Okay, so I said four different teams would win a race. Instead, it's never looked less likely that anyone would break through to the big three to snatch a victory. So this square and this one over here are failures. Two fails right off the bat. Now, I also said that 15 cars would get penalties for going over their power pot allowances for the year. Seemed increasingly likely, didn't it, with only two or three elements permitted for the whole season. But no, only 11 drivers went over. And that's really impressive, to be honest. The penalties weren't as disruptive as previous years. You've really got to marvel at the engineering involved. Fastest F1 cars ever, while doing up to 10 times the mileage of the old lot. It's amazing, but it's still a fail. I said Liberty would overcompensate on getting rid of quick girls, meaning they'd freak out over all the crybabies complaining about the lack of glamorous women decorating the paddock. I based this on Chase Carey in response to the small backlash, saying, we're still going to continue to have pretty girls at the races, which, ew, but actually they didn't throw a bunch of tits at the track and we all just moved on. But it's a fail though. Again, yay for F1, but boo for bingo. 2021 rules, would they include the MGUH? I mean, who knows? It certainly looks that way, doesn't it? But all news has gone a little bit quiet as the whole power unit rebound thing has hit turbulent water. So screw it, I'm taking this one. Gotta give me one for charity here. Bottas was predicted to finish fourth or lower in the championship. Now this. This was the most tense prediction of them all. Right through the season, Bottas was wavering back and forth on this, up, down, up, down in the championship tables. A third of the way through the final race, Kimi was out and Bottas was sitting on a pretty comfortable amount of points to cement his place at the FIA Gala. Then, then the whole race fell apart for him. He ended up fifth on the track and fifth in the standings. Sad for Bottas, but it got a cheer for me. Let's cross that one off. I said Silverstone would not save the British Grand Prix after its contract runs out in 2019. As of now, I do not see a contract on the table, and I did say in previous videos that they had until now to sort it out. They didn't heed my warning, for some reason, so it's a win for me. A loss for F1, but a win for me. Spotting a bit of a pattern here, aren't we? This bingo seems a little bit cursed, doesn't it? Anyway, I also said someone will get a race ban for going over their 12 penalty points this year. Now I did have a word with Grosjean and he tried as hard as he possibly could to get himself banned so I could cross him off the bingo board, but alas, he only got within two points of maxing out. Thanks for the mayhem, Roman. Maybe next year, eh? That's a fail. And finally, I did say a weird event would cause a red flag, and I really wanted this to be something bombastic or silly or at least happen in the race. I know a worrying problem shut down FP1 in Australia, but you know what? I'm not going to take it. No, I don't need your scraps. Let's just fail it and move on. So all in all, I got nine out of 24 predictions right, just over a third. But I pushed the boat out, I took the risk, and I will do it again. And I will do it again. There will be a 2019 bingo board, and by gumbo, because apparently that's what I'm saying now, I'm going to do even better. This year was the benchmark. Next year, I can only improve, because now I know a couple of people in the industry, you see. So if I say McLaren will withdraw from F1 at the end of the year, I can slip on a fake moustache, muscle my way into a meeting with Zach Brown, slide him a crisp £10 note and tell him to get his operation out of town. That's the kind of influence I have now. 2019 is going to be a different game. Thank you so much for enjoying this series. I've been surprised how many of you keep asking when the next part is going to be, so I'll be glad to bring it back for a second season. But for now, goodbye. Oh, one last thing, while the um, credits are going by. Uh, remember I said I was supporting the F1 in Schools team Light Riders? Well, they're looking for some sponsors, so if you are one or you know one, uh, please drop them an email. The link is in the description. Um, I hope they do really well. Uh, okay, bye for real this time. <laughs>